Funding asked about estrogen levels and how that affects the body and I've got a client recently that have been training a lot and looking at the picture there were moves and softness and I've turned this guy into a legend and what it is is changing diet so greens have been shown on scientific research to actually change your DNA they're a great way of cleansing you and greens particularly cruciferous vegetables will actually lower estrogen levels and help to reduce them and actually take them back into balance. The other thing is exercises that induce testosterone and elevate them, so big movements, they could be Olympic lifts, they could be squats, but big, big glute back movements that help with your posture and your function and your strength will really encourage. And then also having foods like steak for example are high in iron and they're very high in protein and so they can help with testosterone levels so there's a way of being a lifestyle um, it's a mix of movements that help you to elevate testosterone to a healthy level and to reduce uh, estrogen but you've also got to think about uh, foods to avoid for example that elevate estrogen would be things like sugars they're foods that will give you that quick high, but then a mood crash. So these, these are kind of things that can affect your mood. Look at medication, for example. That's another thing that you could look at. Uh, anything in your foods or creams or lotions and potions that have a lot of chemicals in them are also going to do that. So if you look on the opposite spectrum, you want to detoxify a lot as well by having high greens, lots of water, lots of citrus fruits in your water, for example, like lemon and lime. Uh, so it's a combination of exercise, nutrition, lifestyle, um, de-stressing, lots of meditation, deep breathing, looking into situations from different angles so you can get perspective.